section, we will cover continuity and how it relates to limits. This section will help you to understand the concept of continuity at a point and over an interval, understand discontinuity and some common types of discontinuities in functions, and use the concept of continuity to help find limits. Let's begin with a definition of continuity at a point that uses the limit of a function. f of x is continuous at the point x equals a if the following equation is true. The limit of f of x as x approaches a equals f of a. So the limit of the function as x approaches the value a must equal the output of the function when it is evaluated at that same value a. This also means you must be able to plug in A to get an answer to the limit. So what would cause a function to be discontinuous or not continuous? The answer is if the limit and the function are not equal or if the function is undefined at A then the function is discontinuous at that point. If a function approaches and passes through a point, then the function is continuous at that point. If the function approaches one value but suddenly jumps to another value, or if the function is undefined, then the function is discontinuous at that point. The following diagram illustrates these situations. As you approach x equals negative 3 from the left and from the right, the function approaches the value negative 1, and f of negative 3 equals negative 1. So f of x is continuous at x equals negative 3. But if you look at x equals negative 1, the function evaluated at negative 1 equals negative 1.5 the function approaches the value negative 1.5 from the right but the value 3 from the left. Since the limit is not defined at x equals negative 1, the function is discontinuous at that point. Lastly, let's look at x equals 2. Again, the function is not defined at that point. Do you see the vertical asymptote? So the function is discontinuous at x equals 2. It helps to remember that you can draw a continuous function without lifting your pencil. When drawing a discontinuous function, you must lift your pencil to skip over the discontinuity. Here are some examples of functions that are continuous everywhere. Some, but not all, trigonometric functions. Exponential functions. Rational functions with no real valued zeros in the denominator. And of course, polynomials. Discontinuity is a point or an interval where a function is discontinuous. Examples include a point or an interval where a function is undefined, a point where there is a vertical asymptote, a point where there is a removable discontinuity.
just as continuity can be defined using limits. Continuity can also be used to evaluate limits. If you know a function is continuous, the limit as x approaches a equals the value of the function evaluated at a. So, to find the limit as x approaches a, just plug a into the continuous function. To review, which of these functions is continuous everywhere? You may pause the tutorial to think about your answer. Functions 1 and 3 are continuous everywhere. Function 2 has a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Function 3 is similar to function 2, a rational function, but its denominator, x to the fourth plus 9, has no real-valued zeros, so there is no discontinuity. 